I'm gonna have this little guy with me just so he can, you know, give me a little comfort. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first apartment slash room tour. So I know a lot of you guys watching are either my friends or people from Biola or just anyone in my life who wanted to see kind of how I'm doing in my new place. Um, and so I'm going to be doing a room slash apartment tour today, but uh, specifically I wanted to talk about why I decided to choose to live at Oxford North. Oxford North is a student living housing, um, not specifically me meant just for students, but it's catered towards students, especially students at Cal State Fullerton. So a lot of my roommates, um, actually all of my roommates, and pretty much I think everyone who lives here except me uh, go to Cal State Fullerton and are undergrad students. So I want to kind of talk about why I decided to uh, choose to live here um, even though I just graduated. Before I do that, let me show you around my room and my apartment and you can see how it all looks. was my official apartment and room tour um, and now I'm going to kind of talk about why I decided to live here specifically. So I was looking for housing nearby um, in the Orange County area because I wanted to stay still close to my school, my old school, Biola, where I graduated from just a couple of weeks ago. Wow, it was only a couple of weeks ago? So post-grad, I'm a graduate, gonna be independent, gotta try to find a job. And so I was looking for uh, housing um, and initially I wanted to live with people I knew obviously because that would be the most convenient way um, and I was asking around for a lot of people asking for roommates and it just didn't work out for a lot of reasons and so I started uh, house hunting on my own and I looked up on Google um, places like apartments.com I also looked on Facebook and Facebook uh, marketplace or specifically Facebook Marketplace for rentals have a lot of listings um, that are really cheap and usually pretty reliable and you can get directly in contact 
with the either the owner or the <clears throat> or the leaser um, pretty quickly and they respond to you generally pretty fast and it's like it's just really easy communication no hassle um, but yeah so I was looking around a lot of places and I found this place on apartments.com and so you know when you go on those kind of rental websites you can kind of filter out like um, what what's your price range how many rooms do you want things like that I knew from the get-go that I was not gonna be able to find a place on my own uh, for the budget that I wanted and so I found Oxford North and it was literally the, like the only place that showed up that matched all my um, requirements and even then like it was still a little bit over my price range it's catered towards students they have a social media account they have a lot of events on um, site and a lot of services that normally wouldn't be offered to you know just like a regular apartment complex but it still gives you a very independent kind of feel there are different types of room plans mine is the deluxe room plan so it comes with my own room and my own bathroom which is attached to my room which is really nice i knew i needed my own bedroom because i have a lot of sleeping problems i really needed a room of my own and also i was like it'd be really nice if i could have my own bathroom just because I know that I kind of like take up a lot of space, a lot of the mess belonged to me. Um, so I knew that I was going to need some place that where I could store everything and feel comfortable just kind of um, doing my own thing without being uh, bothered or being a bother to other people. So it's me and two other girls and we share this apartment together and it comes with a living room and a kitchen as you guys saw and that's pretty much the only space that's shared by everyone uh, my other two roommates they share one bathroom outside and they each get their own rooms this room when i initially moved in was a lot bigger than i expected it's a lot more space than i expected even this bed is like huge guys i'm not used to sleeping on a bed this big i've been sleeping in captains and twin beds for like three years now so this is kind of weird for me whenever i sleep i only sleep on like one corner of the bed because i'm so used to having such a small bed i'm not used to like spreading around a lot and also if i spread around then it takes me a long time to make my bed which i didn't do until now like this is this is about as clean as my room has been in a very long time so having my own room and my own place has definitely motivated me to stay cleaner and neater and to make my bed and to vacuum and all these things that I was not doing before. But the specific reasons why I chose to live in Oxford North and chose to stay in student housing is number one, it's safe. Um, it's a gated community, technically. Um, the gates are still open for visitors during the day, but after 6 p.m. the gates close. The parking is a little bit hard because all the spots can get filled up pretty quickly. Um, but other than that, inside, it's like it's, it gives you a very kind of on campus, like very safe feel, but still the independence because everyone just lives in their own apartments and does their own thing. Number two, it comes with a lot of specific accommodations and that have actually made my living here really convenient and really easy. And it just wasn't a huge transition from living on campus in my apartment before. My apartment specifically is very convenient because it's literally the first one once you enter the gate and um, and the trash dumpster bin thing. I don't, I don't know words. Right outside my apartment, like maybe like 10 feet away. And then 10 feet to the other side, to my left, is a laundry room. And that's super convenient. And the laundry room actually comes with a key. So you have to unlock the laundry room. And inside, if you go in, there's also the mailbox room. And so there's a, a lot of security and but also there's a lot of convenience and so living at Oxford North and definitely gives you a lot of services and facilities like there's a swimming pool there's um there's a rec room there's a gym which none of which I have checked out yet because I've just been kind of holed up in my room I'm pretty lazy like I get lazy even just to walk to the laundry room and it's like 10 seconds away but they have all those facilities if you want to use them and you can and you're paying a lot for the rent so you probably i'm talking to myself i probably should i should use this i should use those so that i can make the most of my money there's also a main leasing office that's right down um, the steps from me and they provide you with a lot of services like printing they also have random free coffee and hot chocolate and you can go there and you can just ask for help for anything that you need and all the workers there I think are students I believe the one who gave me a tour her name was Leah and she 
and was she's a Cal State Fullerton student and so she's actually younger than me but I felt super comfortable being like led around the place by her and and like everyone there seems so confident like they know what they're doing and that, so they make you feel really welcome so that's another part of student housing um, that I really appreciate and makes me feel safe and comfortable Initially, I wasn't planning on doing more student housing and I didn't really want to because um, I was like, I'm graduating, I'm gonna be an old, independent human being with a job. And so there was that pride in me that didn't want to go back to that life, that feeling of being on campus, um, which is really not like living here. It's a lot, definitely a lot more independent, but still being surrounded by students and having a lot of student activities and events and stuff, and I was like, oh, am I gonna have to like, go and be social and stuff like that? But I thought about it a lot, and I realized that a lot of the reasons, or really the only few reasons keeping me from choosing this place was just my own pride and the fact that I didn't want to feel like a student when I wasn't anymore. I thought about it a lot and you know I asked God why do you want me to live here again is this really where you're pulling me but um, after coming here honestly after the first day when I moved in and I packed, unpacked all my things and cleaned and bought all this new stuff I was like I really don't want to leave here because it's so convenient um, it's close to church which for me is a really big plus because I love being able to come to church um, several times a week. And I was also thinking, you know, after meeting my roommates and things like that, um, wow, I feel like, you know, God has placed in me a heart for students um, before and in the past, and I still love serving students, and maybe this is a chance for me to um, get to know new people and possibly, you know, be able to share about my faith and share about the gospel with other students. I've never had chances to interact with a lot of people from um, non-Christian schools who, or just even just anyone that's not from Biola um, who aren't Christians. So it is definitely going to be a new experience for me and it's definitely going to give me a lot more um, reasons to go out and kind of talk to people than if I was just living in an apartment. Um, especially with other people that I know. So yeah, those are kind of all of my reasons that I kind of reflected on and real kind of came to realize after moving in here and realizing I love this space. I love my room. I love this bed. I love the closet and the bathroom and the kitchen. All of which keeps me motivated to keep things clean. Most of all, I'm just really grateful to have this space um, provided for me by God and by my dad's um, financial situation that you know, keeps me um, able to live in a place like this and I'm also really grateful that I have the space, um, especially my new studio space, to film videos. So those are all the reasons for why student housing even after you graduate and if you do get the chance to live somewhere like this, I think it's a super convenient and beneficial way, um, especially in that transition time out of graduating from college and kind of moving forward and thinking about you know what you want to do next. It's a much easier kind of transition because you're still with students and you're still in this kind of comfortable environment but you still um, have to do a lot of things on your own like cooking and cleaning and things like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and this tour and I will see you next time. Bye bye!